What's up guys, it's Brandon with Sonic Electronics and today we're working on a 2013 uh, Ford F-150. We're actually doing a seven inch uh, doubled in from Pioneer, a 4000 X in this uh, particular vehicle. So what I just wanted to show you guys is how to remove the actual dash panel in the vehicle. It's actually pretty easy, uh, but I have some tricks. So I just wanna go ahead and show you that. So this is the factory dash panel right here that we're looking at. Uh, if you can see it, let me get to straighten out the camera here. Perfect, so it's almost like your uh, 07, 08, 09, 10, it's very similar. Um, what we're gonna start with is these two side panels on the right and left actually needs to basically be popped out. Um, the one on the left is a little bit more tricky because usually you have to pop out this whole gauge cluster trim uh, to get this panel fully removed. Uh, but what I do is I just pop it out and uh, even though there's a seven mil behind, each, basically each ear has a seven mil, um, I'm able to squeeze the dash kit out without scratching in any panels. Uh, now, the below of the panel, it's maybe be hard to see, but there should be two seven mils uh, at the very bottom. One right here and one right there. So you're gonna see those seven mils. You're gonna wanna go ahead and remove those and uh, that'll allow you to basically snap the panel out of the place. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm just gonna let the camera roll. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, undo the seven mils at the very bottom. Now, I've taken this truck apart before because the customers come in previously, and unfortunately, the last shop that worked on it lost the two seven mils that go at the very top. Uh, so, I'll show you a way to get them out. Perfect, so we got our seven mils out. Now, what we're gonna do, uh, last time I worked on it, I started at the bottom left here, and the panel, the silver panel ends. If you just pull on it slightly, it should pop right off. Take your panel pry tool, get it in there, and just start popping it off. There we go. Perfect. Now, as you can see, it overlaps right there. So I'm gonna do it without taking this whole trim panel off because I'm lazy. Now, once I pull this back, you'll see the seven mil location right here at the top left, if I can get my head out of the way. Um, and you just wanna remove that because it's obviously holding this panel in. You're gonna have that replicated on this side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this panel there. And I'm gonna start at the bottom right. All right, so this panel snapped out halfway. Uh, if you need to get to the seven mil, what you're gonna wanna do is either fully remove this panel or just take your pry tool, lift it up a tad bit, and you can get your extension right through there and remove that seven mil from that location. Now, since we removed the two seven mils at the top and the bottom, we're basically gonna start at the bottom uh, with our hands and uh, give the dash a pull if I can get it off. go. All right. So what we're going to do is start on the left. We're going to pry this panel out just a hair. Take this panel and overlap. There we go. I'm going to take my pry tool on this side. And there we are. Perfect, so now we got some connections on the back side uh, for the airbag light, the AC controls, and the radio controls. So I just gotta get those unplugged starting at the top. Oh man, I remember this clip. It's not fun. There we go, perfect. So, that's how we remove a 2013 uh, Ford F-150 dash panel. Pretty simple. Remember, four seven mils. Top, two at the top, two at the bottom. Pops right off. Um, now you can see the exterior or interior of the radio housing. We got uh, eight seven mils holding this in. Uh, both of these modules, basically the control module or the screen itself and the CD changer, which is actually the radio, is going to be fully removed and we're going to put a new dash kit in uh, from Skosh or Metra. Metra makes a nice dash kit that's a replicated panel of this to fit a seven inch touchscreen. And all of our AC controls move right on over to that dash kit. So it's gonna look nice and clean 
and uh, like it was factory. Other than that, guys, this is Brent with Sonic Electronics. Hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. You guys have a great day.